As much as the internet is a source of information, it can become addictive with reports suggesting that it increases the release of dopamine. There is a risk that your frequent use of social media can lead to anxiety, depression, and also lead to suicide ideation. Suicide ideation is when you are thinking about committing suicide. This is especially the case when the person experiences cyberbullying or cyber victimization. Being addicted to social media can also lead to what experts call identity deficit. The individual has no agency and gives into social media pressure to be accepted by their followers, by their peers. The person is counting social media likes, how many likes do I have, how many followers do I have, and they're upset when they're unfollowed. They do not have a strong sense of self. They do not know who they are and are vulnerable to the opinions of others. And young people are so vulnerable. You, your self-esteem is rated, your self-worth drops because you are constantly being rated and ranked by your peers that you want to impress. Young Namibian technopreneurs are asked to minimize the potential of mental health risks associated with social media applications by designing them ethically and responsibly. I would like to call it ethical by design. This is a web application that is designed to consider the effects of mental health at the design stages with the aim of minimizing mental health effects. My plea to you as upcoming technopreneurs is to consider the responsible development of technology so as not to manipulate your fellow young people to become addicted to your products, but to encourage the responsible use of your technologies. Dr. Stanley Shanapinda was giving a motivational talk on the harm of digital technologies to young people and their identity deficit at the 6th National ICT Summit. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.